Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're gonna to be looking at a kind of cheap multi-tool. This is one that you find in checkout aisles as you're going through Walmart or something. Uh, I've seen these things for years and years and years. I just never picked one up because frankly, I just didn't have a need for one. But uh, what this is, is a basically a multi-tool. That's a case that goes around your Bic lighter. So for those that carry a full-size Bic lighter, this could be an option. Now it's supposed to have seven tools. What I was most interested in is the scissors that come with this. So let's get this thing opened up. We'll check out, see what all tools it has with it, what all functionality it's supposed to have, and then we'll try out some of the stuff to see if it's actually worth buying. I mean, it's a pretty cheap option. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not expecting the greatest of results, but you never know, we might get lucky. Let's check it out. Well, I've got it out. I got finally got it out of that packaging and, and uh, put the lighter into it. Now, one thing I will say is this little key ring here was pretty cheap. And it, it actually, the lighter interferes with it where it's mounted at. So I just kind of set it to the side. I don't, I don't like that on there. I will say, though, that the lighter actually seats in there really nicely. It's got a little spring catch down here that uh, when you shove the lighter down, it holds pressure against it and holds it in there very tightly. Now here at the bottom, this little piece is supposed to be your bottle cap lifter. So you'll set that on your bottle cap, lift it up. I'm not sure, yeah, it'd be that direction. And uh, it's nice and wide, so it should make a pretty decent bottle uh, cap lifter. I don't have a, a, a bottle to test that on right at the moment, but we're gonna test it out these other things brought in a few things here to test this thing out now one thing i'm going to say is on the packaging which i kind of tore it up a little bit but it says it shows it to have a little phillips driver it doesn't have a phillips driver it has a little uh a little straight driver i will say though that the action on those things actually the little slip joint that they put in there actually snaps in pretty well so this is supposed to be a screwdriver and a poker so it has a it's a really long screwdriver uh I don't know. I don't know if it works well or not, but one I'm most interested in, and I brought some stuff in here to test it for the scissors. One thing I'll say is I really like how those scissors snap in. They're actually pretty snappy. So I, I got a, a few things here. So first of all, we'll just try it on a little bit of paper to see if it actually cuts through paper. Surprisingly, that's actually very, very sharp, easy to control too. So it does well on that. Let's move on up. And we'll take some of the packaging from the you see what happened here is the the uh, tension bar slipped past so maybe you got to be real careful on how you do that that's something that doesn't seem to work well looks like that tension bar too is angled over i wonder why they did that why they didn't just leave it straight because it tries it tends to want to bypass each other maybe if i don't put too much pressure on it just allow the spring to come back it seems to be cutting through fairly decently, actually. So, not too bad. Let's set that to the side. We'll move on up. We'll try it on a little bit of paracord first without any tension on it. Well, you had to hit it a few times, but it actually gets through there. Let's put some tension on it and see. Ah, it did it again. That tension bar slipped out on me. Let me, uh, let me reset that, and we'll try it again. Now that tension bar just keeps wanting to slip out on me. And it's because of how they have that angled. I wonder why they designed it like that. That doesn't work very well. The scissors themselves are not bad. Maybe if we hold pressure against it in this direction while we're doing it so that that won't uh, slip out, maybe we'll get better results. Mm, not really. It's not doing a great job on that paracord. So it's probably not going to do very good on this either. No, that tension bar just wants to slip out and I don't imagine it's gonna be good for anything uh, more robust than that. So now we're not gonna be able to get through some of this other stuff, but for just a, a little pair of scissors to cut paper or to cut on some cardboard, some light cardboard, golly, that tension bar again, it slipped out on me. Maybe if I just, I guess you just gotta learn to control it correctly. It's it's not the greatest pair of scissors in the world, but it does it does decent enough on paper and cardboard. So the next thing that's on here is this little blade, and it's actually ground on both sides. So it's just a little 
a kind of just a little backup blade. I don't know how sharp it's going to be, but we'll get that paper in here and we'll give it a shot to see how sharp it comes out. Yeah, it's not terrible. It could stand to get stropped up for sure. I guess for a little backup blade, just a, an emergency cutting tool, it's actually not too awfully bad. And then we'll snap that back in place. I don't really think I have anything to test that screwdriver out on, but it does come with a, a long screwdriver. I will say that that seems a little flimsy. Maybe if they'd made that shorter, but then there's no way to get it out here. So it's a good concept. Uh, I just don't like the way that lock bar is with those scissors. That lock bar, why they angled that lock bar that direction and then where it contacts, they angled it back. Well, if they just left that straight, they would have a lot better pair of scissors because the scissors themselves are not bad. They're not terrible. I've seen a lot worse. They do have a bit of a recurve though. This portion here, um, it kind of curves backwards, which is an interesting design, but nonetheless, for as cheap as it is, I guess it's all right. And it does house in your lighter very well, actually. It does a pretty pretty good job. So it's compact. I don't know that it's actually worth it, uh, unless you don't have scissors. If you carry a multi-tool that doesn't have scissors and you're wanting something just to cut uh, you know, paper once in a while, then it might be an option. Anyway, this is a look at the Lighter Bro, uh, a little, kind of a, a lighter based multi-tool or a case for your lighter that's a multi-tool based. Not the greatest in the world, but then again, it's not very expensive either. My name is Ben, you've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. See you in the next one. I need to throw in a quick little edit here before I go. This thing actually comes with a little accessory too, that's a little uh, lighter clip. So this is the Lighter Bro Clip Clip Pocket Clip. <laughs> Interesting name. So anyway, the way it works, the way it goes on, is you just take your lighter, you slip this, slip the lighter inside of it. it, has a couple of catches down here at the bottom, and then you just slip that over, the whole thing over, and now you have, well, if I can get it seated correctly, there we go. Now you have a little clip, and it actually works pretty nicely, and I'm surprised how well that actually holds in, so if nothing else, it has a well, uh, a semi-decent blade for a little emergency blade and a semi-decent pair of scissors, but it also comes with a pretty nice clip and case for your lighter. So that is the Lighter Bro and the Lighter Bro clip.